Nvidia recently launched a brand new Shield TV in 2019. And if you haven't noticed by now, we love streaming devices, so obviously we're going to get one. And as expected, there are a few upgrades like the Tegra X1 processor, Dolby Atmos and AI upscaling, even with a brand new controller as well. If you've got a brand new one, we did do some experiments on it to find out some hidden tips like, you know, how to watch Apple TV or remap your Netflix button, you know, stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's see some of the best ones that we found, shall we? If you've got a 2017 Shield TV, there's not much reason to upgrade it except for the remote. The new remote is much better than the previous one. It's quite ergonomic, comes with updated features like backlight, dedicated Netflix button, and of course, remote finder. More of this on later. Fortunately though, the new remote can also be paired with the old Shield TV and is sold separately on the NVIDIA website for about $30. Like I just said before, Nvidia knew the affairs between the couches and remotes, and that's why they chose to include a remote finder feature on the new Shield TV remote. You can press a button on the Shield TV to buzz the remote. It'll sound loud enough to beep to help you find the remote. However, if you want to be lazy and don't want to get off your couch, you can still activate the buzzer from the settings using an Android smartphone. To do that, you want to navigate to Settings, Remotes and Accessories, and then Shield Accessories, Shield TV Remote, find the remote. Although keep in mind that if the remote's dead or out of range of a Wi-Fi signal, it'll not be able to locate it. So yeah, we've done this before using a smartphone as a remote, which is not unique to other devices like Fire TV Stick or Roku, which already have apps for that. You can use an Android smartphone to continue your Shield TV as well, or any other Android TV for that matter. To set it up, install the app on your Android or iOS device, and then the app will detect the Shield TV on the same Wi-Fi network. Using the app makes browsing through the interface a breeze, not to mention you can type using the smartphone keyboard. It's a godsend. Okay, so I've done a dedicated video on this, so I'll keep this short. The 2019 Shield TV comes with a huge Netflix button that I don't use very often. Even though Shield TV has a reprogrammable button that allows you to set it to any action that you like, I wanted to remap my Netflix button itself. Fortunately, you can remap every button on the remote with this app. The 2017 Shield TV has a dedicated interface that allows you to record the screen and take screenshots natively, mainly for gamers. This screen recording functionality is not present on the Tube version, however, you can still take screenshots on the 2019 model. So navigate to Settings, Remote and Accessories, Shield Accessories, Quick Settings button, Customize Quick Settings button, take a screenshot. With 2019 Shield TV, you no longer get the ability to control the volume on your Shield TV itself. Of course, it's for the TV or any sound accessories that you might connect to the Shield TV. You'll have to configure those buttons in the settings separately. While the remote is equipped with infrared, the 29 Shield TV has a HDMI CEC, which allows itself to do impressive things. For example, you can set TV to power on and off when your Shield TV wakes up or goes to sleep. If you have multiple devices connected to the TV, you can set Shield TV to switch to HDMI source when it wakes up. However, if your TV doesn't support HDMI CEC, you can still use the IR sensor to turn on the TV. It might look like a hack or a gimmick, but it's actually a legitimate feature on the 2019 Shield TV. 
AI scaling aims to stretch out the 720p and 1080p content to 4K without pixelating the footage using machine learning. It would come in handy if you've got a 4K TV, but your streaming services are in 1080p. The system is implemented with the device, so it works without any lag or jitter. Even though 2019 Shield TV doesn't include a gaming controller in the box, it still very much is the gaming oriented device. Nvidia Shield TV GeForce Now and GameStream comes built in within the Shield TV. You can install your own streaming apps such as Steam Link. All of these apps make it one of the most powerful Android TVs built for gaming. You can also hook up your gaming controller to play games from Steam or within natively from Shield TV. So obviously it's going to support Xbox, PS4 One and third party Bluetooth controllers. So yeah, those were some of the best tips and tricks for the new Shield TV that we found quite useful. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. As always, I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching, and if you're new here, subscribe, because that's what every guy wants you to do, and we want you to do as well. See ya.